Welcome to Rush Rally Free. We're presently on rally course number eight. There are six cars in the track. And I've got one that looks a little different than you've probably seen here in the game before. It's one Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Would be nice if Steve Jobs would, but uh, Steve Brown supplied to us in the game. He's come up with a new deco scheme on the 2G. I think that's how it's pronounced. Club SI. 2G being a Japanese name for a certain style of rally racing. So you may end up with some Japanese circuits in the near future. I came across this car by driving up behind it and wondering what it was. I have done a lot of customizing my cars, changing the decal patterns in the round, so I did not discover this car right away. I noticed it when I was on the track and rally course with other cars. It's the only time I noticed it. it. Took me a few tries to catch up to it. I finally did. When I did, I did not recognize the car at all. It's that different from what has been supplied in the game previously. The only thing I noticed that stood out, get the sun to shine on the back of the car there again, there's a little red bar and the yellow, and the yellow down below there, just above the bumper, and there's a white symbol. So I'm looking for cars in the game with that white symbol on it to see if I could identify which car it was. Yep. It's the former PUBG RS250. I'm going to do a replay of that race. There's a view of the top of the car. You can see it does look substantially different than the white car, particularly if you've got access to the white car by paying for the gravel track pack. I find it's quite a different paint scheme. Stands out. It actually looks pretty good to me for the most part. I did make a few changes to it. And uh, while we're in here, let's go take a look in spin mode as well. You get to see a little more of the car rather than just the front hood and the top of the car. Interesting that Steve found a way to fit KK performance filters on the side there. He did so by making a very small number board, which is on the back door, where the back door of the car would be. And overall, I find the KK works out pretty good on there. It gives a very different look to the car. We've got KK, as you can see, on the boards on the side of the track. I mean, you might have noticed in the replay mode here, occasionally the black on the car turns brown. I don't know if that's from the particles being picked up or the reflections of the brown tan mountains in the area. So I decided to modify this paint scheme on my version of this car. This car shows up in version 1.110 of Rush Rally 3 and you have to have paid for access to the gravel track pack to get hold of it. You don't have access to the gravel, dra gravel track, track pack. This might encourage you to actually want to get a hold of it. It is a different looking car. It does not look that bad. But now I'm going to go in and we're going to take a look at my version of it. I changed a few things around. We'll go into the vinyls. Need to pull up the car. There it is from the front. Right away you'll notice the visor on the 
front windshield it is red as opposed to a black it stands out much better i outlined the my deck with white decals i use four you could use two to do the same thing i took i got rid of there were two dollops on the car one in front of the front tire there where the big b is i removed that it just didn't look right dollops don't look right to me i think they're supposed to be dunlops but they don't, just don't look right to me. They look like hot something or other. And um, could be shaving cream, but it mightn't be shaving cream. And I put that symbol that I used to identify the car on the back where the other dollop was there in front of where I put a new number board and below the M deck. I also put a larger number board up on the rear glass there behind the drivers, both on the driver's side and the co-pilot's side. We'll go over to the co-pilot side here now. Otherwise, I did not change too much around other than just slide some of the decals around. I put, uh, as I said, I moved the number board up to the front. that used to be the back there. There was another symbol where I've got go, go. Since it was the only symbol on there for that sponsor, I decided to remove it and put go, go on there because go, go pops up by the one on the roof. And there's other places it is on the car. I decided to move around the Michelin and the re-race down below the number board and the KK springs and or KK filters. And I decided to use an Echelon or our version of Echelon um, springs just in front of the front rear wheel there and the symbol up behind the glass on the side panel there i decided to use a gray wheel symbol and a black symbol to give it a little bit of highlight and the most significant change probably here is in the back i enlarged that symbol i noted used to notice the car the little white symbol on the white bar or on the red bar and I changed the brewer and the Japanese or Chinese wording symbol, it's gobbledygook anyway, into yellow or the color of the car. I find it stands out better and angled it down slightly towards the center. I'm going to take this car out onto the track just for a moment. Whoops. Let's go ahead and work onto the track so that I can show you. Because the other thing I did with all of the black panels, I changed those to. I put a little blue, a 10% blue, darkest blue color over top of each of them. So out on the track here, you might notice it's a little bit bluish as opposed to dead black. I did that because when I was driving the car, I was seeing brown showing up where the blue is. It did not look awful was where the black is. It didn't quite look right, it just looked a little bit odd. Now you can see it's a little bit blue compared to the tarmac. There's not tarmac where it's uh, sand or gravel. It looks more black. Depending on where the sun is, it's got a little bit of blue tinge to it. I find it a little bit more, a little less objectionable having a blue tinge to it rather than a brown cast to it. So that's my version of the Koji uh, Club SI I take on. Steve Brown's version of the car supplied with version 1.110 of the game, which came out sometime either late April or early May 2022. If you see this car in various other videos and you don't have it, you'll know where it belongs now. It belongs in the gravel track pack, and it's a car that Stephen Brown supplied to everybody. Hopefully we'll be able to transfer cars between players in a short period of time.
and there'll be a whole new cast of cars everywhere. So that's it for my video. Hope you enjoyed it.